Let's start at the very beginning, the zeroth dimension. It's a point, a single dot in space with no length, width, or depth. It's a concept so simple it's almost impossible to imagine anything less. From there we step into the first dimension. Picture a line stretching out from that single point giving it length. We've moved from a dot to a line but we're still missing two critical aspects of our reality. Adding another dimension, we step into the two-dimensional world. This world has length and width, like a flat piece of paper. It's a world of squares, circles, and other flat shapes. But still, it lacks depth. Now enter the third dimension, the one we know and inhabit. We've added depth to our world. It's a realm of cubes, spheres, and countless other shapes that have length, width, and depth. We're three-dimensional beings living in a three-dimensional world. But what if I told you this might not be the end of the story? What if there's more to reality than we can perceive? This is where the concept of the fourth dimension comes in. The fourth dimension is a topic that has been puzzling and fascinating scientists, philosophers, and curious minds alike for centuries. It's a concept that goes beyond the realms of our everyday perception and understanding. If we live in a three-dimensional world and can perceive three dimensions, could there be a fourth dimension that we can't perceive? Could there be a world beyond our world, a reality beyond our reality, that is just as real but remains hidden to us because of our limited perception? These are the questions that make the fourth dimension such a fascinating topic. It's an enigma, a mystery that challenges our understanding of reality and invites us to explore the limits of our perception. So what could possibly lie beyond our three-dimensional world? Is there a fourth dimension that we can't perceive? Imagine a cube. Now imagine a cube within a cube, connected at their corners. That's a tesseract, a four-dimensional cube. Let's break it down a bit. Consider a line, a single dimension. If we pull that line in a direction different from its length, we get a square, a two-dimensional shape. Now if we pull that square in a direction different from its length and breadth, we get a cube, a three-dimensional object. This progression from a line to a square to a cube is where things get interesting. If we follow this logic, pulling a cube in a direction different from its length, breadth, and height, we should get a four-dimensional figure. That figure, my friends, is a tesseract. It's a cube within a cube, with each corner of the inner cube connected to the corresponding corner of the outer cube. Now it's important to note that this is a representation, a way to visualize the fourth dimension. Just as a flat drawing of a cube doesn't fully capture the nature of a three-dimensional object, a tesseract doesn't fully encapsulate the nature of a four-dimensional figure. You see, we live in a world of three dimensions. We understand length, breadth, and height because we can experience them. The fourth dimension, however, is beyond our direct experience. We can't perceive it as we do the other three. So we use models like the tesseract to help us visualize what it might be like. A tesseract is, in essence, a geometric way to represent the concept of a dimension beyond the ones we're familiar with. It's a tool that helps us stretch our minds to think beyond the boundaries of our own experiences and perceptions. But here's the kicker. While a tesseract can help us imagine the fourth dimension, it's still a simplification. The true nature of the fourth dimension might be far more complex and intriguing than we can currently comprehend. So a tesseract gives us a glimpse into what the fourth dimension might look like, but how does it fit into our understanding of the universe? Did you know that the concept of a fourth dimension is not just a mathematical curiosity, but a key component in some of our most advanced theories of physics? Let's take a moment to dive into the fascinating world of modern physics, where the fourth dimension plays a pivotal role in our understanding of the universe. We'll start with a man named Albert Einstein. Perhaps you've heard of him? Einstein, in his groundbreaking theory of relativity, introduced the idea of the fourth dimension being time. In the realm of physics, we often think of space and time as two separate entities. You move through space, you wait through time. However, Einstein revolutionized this perception with the concept of space-time, a four-dimensional framework where time is intertwined with the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with. Imagine it this way. You're at a party, and you want to find your friend. You need three pieces of information to locate them. Their position across the room, width, their distance from you, length, and their height from the floor. But there's a fourth piece of information you need. When will they be at that spot? That's where the fourth dimension, time, comes into play. Einstein's theory of relativity with its inclusion of the fourth dimension transformed our understanding of the universe. It tells us that the fabric of reality is not static, but dynamic bending and warping under the influence of mass and energy. 
This has been confirmed by numerous experiments and observations, from the bending of light by the sun to the existence of black holes. In fact, without incorporating the fourth dimension, much of modern physics wouldn't make sense. GPS systems, for example, wouldn't work correctly without adjustments for time dilation, a direct result of Einstein's work on relativity and the fourth dimension. So in the realm of physics, the fourth dimension is already a reality. But could we ever experience it? Imagine if you could see all sides of a cube at once, or watch as a thousand years pass in an instant, that's what perceiving the fourth dimension might be like. Now let's dive into the realm of human perception of the fourth dimension. It's essential to realize that our brains have evolved in a three-dimensional world. We are hardwired to perceive reality in terms of length, width, and height. This is our natural habitat, our comfort zone. But what if there's more to reality than what our three-dimensional brains can comprehend? What if there's a fourth dimension, a realm that exists beyond our tangible experience? Here's where things get mind-boggling. Our three-dimensional brains struggle to fully comprehend a four-dimensional reality. It's like asking a two-dimensional being living on a flat sheet of paper to understand the concept of a cube. It just doesn't have the capacity to visualize something beyond its two-dimensional world. Similarly, we as three-dimensional beings find it challenging to visualize a four-dimensional object. We can only perceive it through mathematical models and abstract representations, like the Tesseract, which is a mere shadow of the actual four-dimensional object. But let's indulge in a bit of whimsy. Imagine if we could somehow transcend these limitations. What would seeing in four dimensions look like? Well, it's hard to say. Some theorists suggest that you might be able to see every perspective of a three-dimensional object at once, just like seeing all six sides of a cube simultaneously. Others believe that the fourth dimension could be related to time, allowing us to witness events from the past, present, and future all at once. It's like having a bird's eye view of all of time. But alas, these are just theories, speculation fueled by our insatiable curiosity about the unknown. The fourth dimension then remains a tantalizing frontier, a testament to the limitless wonder of the universe we inhabit. So we've journeyed through the concept of the fourth dimension, from mind-bending geometry to the frontiers of physical reality. We've watched as a simple cube unfolded into a tesseract, a four-dimensional hypercube that challenges our three-dimensional understanding of space. We've seen how scientists use this higher dimension in their theories, from Einstein's relativity to quantum mechanics. We even dipped our toes into the philosophical waters of human perception. How we, as three-dimensional beings, might struggle to comprehend a dimension beyond our own. Yet it's this very struggle that fuels our curiosity and drives us to learn more. The fourth dimension, then, isn't just a mathematical concept, it's a physical reality, an integral part of the universe we inhabit. It's a testament to the boundless potential of human understanding and the endless mystery of the cosmos. As we continue to push the boundaries of our understanding, who knows what other dimensions we might one day discover. The universe, it seems, is far more mysterious and wondrous than we could ever have imagined.